First of all, the fester money issue. We've got a lot. There's, uh, this segment is going to be just nonstop. Uh, just hold on, folks, because we're going to deal with a lot here. Got uh, phone calls uh, coming up. We'll explain why here on the MJ Morning Show. First of all, the fester money situation. And listen, I don't want this to turn ugly. I just think we're in disagreement. Well, that's fine. And then we'll get into a comment that somebody made about uh, a picture I took with Michelle on Friday night while we were at dinner with her family. And I'll explain coming up in a bit. First of all, Fester, why don't you recount for the audience listening right now to the MJ Morning Show, why don't you recount what you said to me within the last half hour off the air during a break. Why don't you recount what you said uh, about that blank? I'm going to need that blank. And then you started asking me uh, about a car I once owned. Right. So so <laughs> why, why, why don't you go ahead and... And let's fill our MJ Morning Show listening. Where did Roxanne go? She just disappeared? I'm not sure where she is. Uh, Roxanne has disappeared. We, uh, is she okay? I don't know. I think so I hear her coming. I, let's I hear send her, the search party out. Her All right. Here she so, is. I hear her coming. So go ahead and, and explain what you just said to me a short time ago. Right, well, there's a little bit of a backstory right. here. Listen, this has been a very tumultuous, I don't know, three or four weeks with my car situation. My 04 Lincoln Town car has a busted transmission. Because Fester made an egregious yeah. faux pas. Fester made a fatal mistake yeah. with his 2004 Lincoln Town Car right. in that Fester changed the transmission fluid. He thought he was doing the right thing, but later found out you don't change the transmission fluid. In that car, that transmission, that old, when you change the fluid, you're asking for trouble. Yeah. And Fester did it. A mechanic did it who didn't know what they were doing. Then another mechanic said, you what? You changed the transmission fluid in your 2004 Lincoln Town Car. You've just wrecked your transmission. It's going to start slipping. And what? Like just a couple of weeks after you were told you shouldn't have done it, then your transmission just totally goes out, right? It's been a couple of months, but I could feel it just reducing its efficiency. It was, but it was starting to slip, yeah. and then it was... And I, I it was knew. making all kinds of gro Ooh. grumbling and growling noises and revving. It wasn't kicking into gear. See, if you change your transmission fluid every, you know, 50,000 miles, then it's called maintenance. Right. Let's cut to the chase here. But I did it once at 170, and it just totally and crapped out. now Festa's car is useless. You can drive what? 15 miles an hour in hey, one gear? All right, that's a little ridiculous. It's 35 miles I'm an sorry. hour. He can hit 35 miles an hour. Oh, I, wow. What time do you have to leave for work? <laughs> well, I, 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 He's not, got a rental car. He rented a long-term Hertz at the airport. <laughs> a, he, he, has a, he has a long-term, because he can't drive his car. Yeah. All right, now, Fester says, hey, you know that money? I'm going to need that money from you. I'm going to need it. I'm going to take that money now. I'm going to need that money. And what Fester is referring to, and if you're watching MJTV right now, I'm going to whip it out Whoa. right now. So hang on. I'm going to my file cabinet. Yeah, I, I don't understand why there's this like barrier between inside me my, and this money. Inside my file cabinet is a little money envelope from the GTE Financial. Uh, are they still GTE Credit Union or whatever? Yeah, yeah. GTE right. Financial is okay. still the name of the credit union, yeah. So inside, and I'm showing this on MJTV, and of course, you can watch the show every morning on uh, MJTV. If you go to MJMorningShow.com, at the very top, you'll see MJTV. You click on that, you can watch us live from 6 to 10 a.m., just click. Or you can go back and watch any show. So today's show, if you're driving now and you're not able to see the money I'm about to flash, well, I will... Uh, flash it, and then you can watch it later. So you, you can go to mjmorningshow.com, click on MJTV, and you can watch us later on anytime during the day. You can go back and watch last week's shows. It's all on mjmorningshow.com and MJTV. So I'm holding up a whole bunch of $100 bills. Okay. In fact, I'll count it out. One. And look, there's an old one. Man, I love the old school hundreds. Don't you miss these old- What do you old like about them? Because they're just, they're classic. They, they classic you know, look, They just man. make me feel like, they make me feel like I'm home. The the old classic $100 bill, it just, it's. A nod to simpler times. No, it, it, it well, that's it. A hundred, you're, uh, you said it better than I could say it. It's a nod to simpler 
times just it just felt better when these were the hundred dollar bills. And guess what? When those were the hundred dollar bills, you could get more with them too. Vers- exactly. <laughs> the Vers- versus the newer ones, which I'm holding up right now. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 11, 12, 13. Okay. There's thirteen hundred dollars here in one hundred dollar bills, which I'm holding up to MJ TV right now. That's a lot of money. This money was raised via GoFundMe when yeah. Fester fell ill. When Fester fell ill during his uh, flare up with myasthenia gravis, this yeah. autoimmune disorder, and Fester, you were out for what? Uh, three weeks off the show. Two and, yeah. and a half weeks off the show. Yep. And then I, and then I you, did the show from home for another did, two weeks. The, another two weeks at home. So Fester was out for, well, Don, the IT guy, who we have a great relationship with. Good guy. Don, the IT guy from Team Logic IT. If your company needs a great IT guy, a whole IT team for safety, security, for making sure you don't get fished and hacked and uh, ransomware. If you need point, point of sale stuff, if you need a great IT company, you need Don the IT guy. Don the IT guy.com. So Don is a friend of the show. FOS, friend of the show. And Don started a GoFundMe because Fester was out of work from his real job, which is working at General RV. Right. See, this is Fester's part time job. Boy, is it. He doesn't make much money doing no, this. It's really almost charity. Yeah, I'm actually he, losing he, money. So, oh, this so is my part time job as well. Fester makes more money selling RVs at General RV uh, off of I 4 in Dover. So, with Fester being out, Fester missed out on tons of RV sales. You missed the RV Super Show, right? I did. I was in the hospital the week of the RV Super Show. Oh, and, man. I mean, you could have made 25, 30 grand that weekend. <sighs> And a big, big, big week. So Don, the IT guy, to help Fester out, started a Fester in the hospital GoFundMe account, and it raised a whopping thirteen hundred dollars before we kind of shut it down. It was, it was unsolicited. I, I didn't ask him to do. Oh this. no, no, Fester, know, yeah, Fester. Yeah, I mean, it was just a nice gesture from Don. Anyway, I said to I said to Don, uh, Don, listen, we really appreciate you doing this. Uh, however. Fester's a little uncomfortable. I'm not trying to come across as any kind of charity right. case. I mean, you know, that's fine. Well, but I, you know. this is where things get weird. Well, then now this hold money's on, just Hold on a minute. Here. This is where things <laughs> well, get a little weird. The money's just sitting so in your file Fester, cabinet. Fester told me to tell Don, take down the GoFundMe. Yeah. Fester just was uncomfortable with the GoFundMe. Yeah, I, so, yeah. so wait a minute. Right. So Don, the IT guy, takes down the GoFundMe, but it had already raised $1,300 of which... I'm holding right here. Now, Fester, who wanted the GoFundMe taken down because he didn't want to be perceived as some kind of charity case, now Fester says to me this morning, hey, MJ, you know that 1300 bucks you have? I'm like, yes, I didn't pocket it. It's been sitting right here in my little filing cabinet. I'm glad no one stole this. It's been (laughs) sitting in my filing cabinet right here in the studio, right under the counter since Don brought the money by. So Fester now says to me, hey, MJ, can I have the thirteen hundred bucks? There, there should be uh, no asking. I, I, it's I, not your money I, that they ask. It's not you're not Fest, you're not the keeper of these funds. Fester says I'm gonna need that to purchase my new old used beater. Yes. So you have your eyes on what now? Oh, hold on, listen, not eyes. I've made a commitment. Right, what? So what are you buying? What's gonna replace the 2004 Lincoln Town Car? Only the classiest vehicle on the Just road. Just tell me what it is. A Cadillac. What year? Ooh. 2010. You're buying a 2010. <laughs> so now you're buying a. Now oh you're, you're buying a 13 year old car. <laughs> 13 year old car. Or a four, car. or maybe even a 14 year old car. This is an elderly driven Cadillac. All right. So I think the guy croaked. Right, I think what, I'm buying it from his son. What model is it? What caddy? It's the Cadillac uh, DTS, the big car. The, oh, the, you're buying the big one. I only buy big cars. Oh my god. I'm not going to buy a small car. All right. So Fester now has his eyes on a 2010 Cadillac. A big old Cadillac, and now he wants the thirteen hundred dollars to put toward how much do they want for the Cadillac? How much is the twenty ten Caddy? There's a lot of negotiation. Just on this tell price. me, stop dragging me through the mud here. How much is the car? Seven grand. And you want this thirteen hundred bucks? Here's well, the here's the issue. What do we do with the thirteen hundred bucks? What I had suggested. 
since Fester wanted the GoFundMe account. To, this is just bizarre. You wanted it taken down, and yeah. now you want the thirteen hundred bucks. Well, I could have promoted it and said, "Hey, we got to talk about the GoFundMe." I could have raised twenty five thousand dollars. What I had suggested was that this thirteen hundred bucks, and that's why I've been hanging on to it. That we take the thirteen hundred bucks and we give it to charity. The we, charity uh, should be this car. Uh, you know what? I want to go to phones on this. It's not let's, your money to dictate let, where any of it goes. Let's see what our our listeners are the most important thing going here. The fact that you let's, still have it in your possession is theft, if anything. It's not theft. It's I not your money. It's sitting. Don brought... Well, you should have handed it over immediately upon I, me seeing you. You have not asked for it. Until now, and I'm getting nothing but grief. <laughs> All right. I want to go to phones on this. The $1,300 from GoFundMe, should Fester be given this money to go spend on a car... Or should we give it to a deserving charity in the Tampa Bay area, which is my initial inclination, which is something I've wanted to do? Let's go to phones on this. What should we do? Should Fester get, should I have to give this 1300 bucks to Fester? Or should Fester say, you know what, let's find a great charity and we'll donate the 1300 bucks there? Let's go to phones. Fester, will it's you? It's not your fun. Fester. Will you agree to our listeners and their requests, their suggestions? Will you make the listener vote a binding contract? No! <laughs> absolutely not! What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I want to go to the, the listener lines right now and ask all MJ Morning Show listeners, should Fester take the 1300 bucks, or should Fester graciously agree to donate it to a worthy charity in the Tampa Bay area. Let's go to phones. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, every line is already jammed. I'm going to go through lines quickly. Now, Roxanne, can you keep a tally? Sure. Can you uh, just... Do I'm trying a... to tally these texts because there are just they're 50 of them already. Uh, all right. Can you... Do you have a scrap paper over there? I do. Okay. Do uh, uh, keep, keep the money the, or, right. or donate the money. I got it. And keep track... Right now, we're going to phones, 800-990-1047, 800-990-1047. It's a simple question. What should we do with the money? Should Fester get the money and spend it on his 2010 Cadillac, or should it be donated to, tra uh, to uh, a charity? First of all, MJ, I don't think this is going to work out the way you think it is. Well, let's see. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, will I'm willing to uh, let the listeners' calls on this be binding. How many calls uh, are we going to take? hundred? I'm going to take 3,000 calls. Yeah, just just, just <laughs> take them for the rest of the show. We're I mean, going gonna to go until midnight tonight. We're, stations, we're going long. All right, so here's the deal. I'm going to phones. Fester, will you agree to whatever the listeners say? You keep the money or we donate it to charity? Will you agree to whatever the listeners want here? Yes or no? Double or nothing. What? Put your money where your mouth is. What are you saying? Are you saying that he has to add oh, wait, oh. another $1,300? So Do you want to make this interesting? If the listeners... I will donate all the money to charity. All of it. Today. If, we yep. will find a charity today, yep. and I will make a $1,300 donation to them today if the listeners say so. If not... You mean with that money? With if, that money. Wait, I'll take it, that cash. We will make a donation today. Are you saying if the listeners say you should keep the money toward your new car? I keep the $1,300. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. If the listeners say I should donate it, I will donate all $1,300. But if they say I should keep it, you double it. <laughs> you want me to give you a $1,300 bonus on top of this? You want to put money where the mouth is? You want to think everybody's so high and mighty? You want to make a big deal busting my chops about asking for money that's rightfully mine? Let's go. You're on, Beyonce. Oh! You're on. You're on. All right. Now, folks, don't play games now. <laughs> this, this, this is go, the real deal. Go with, go with your heart. Go with <laughs> go your with, gut. Go with your heart. All right. So if listeners say Fester should keep the money, then I've agreed to add another $1,300. This isn't some little, uh, you know, oh, hey, you should... we need to budget out of, you know, talk to uh, Ronnie D or something. You, you are going to stroke out the check today. You should add $1,300 to the charity if the listeners pick the charity. Too. That's on him. That's on him. Let's go to phones. Let's start with Danny in Palm Harbor. Danny, should Fester keep the money, yes or no? No, don't need it. He oh. should get off his fat ass and go spend his own money and buy his car. <laughs> get <off> what? <laughs> Danny, first of all. all right, there we, we're off to a good start. It's a terrible so, start. Uh, Danny, thanks for the call, buddy. You're welcome. Thank you. All right.
No, Fezzer should not keep the money. Goes to charity. That's call number one. That opens up a line, 800-990-1047. Travis is in Arcadia. Travis, you're on the MJ Morning Show. What should Fester do with the money? Hey, man, if he had made the show, he would have had money to get the car. But he didn't. He's right. in the hospital. He should get the money. So what's, so, what's your vote? Logic. What's, your, saying, what's your vote? You keep it. Yeah, my vote's you keep it, man. I mean, Oh, man, we're tied up now. Four. You, uh, you were out for all right. you know, weeks, all right, Travis, I got you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. I, I got to go through these quickly. All right, so now we're tied up. All right. All right, let me go to Jeremy in Spring Hill. Jeremy, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. So I believe, now this is before I heard about the whole deal thing. I called before that. I absolutely, 100%, I think that he should keep the money because the money was made for him. So he gets to keep it. If he wants Roxanne, to. Roxanne, was that you? No, it was our caller. You know, it's not the co- All right, so <laughs> sorry, Jeremy. Sorry. Everyone's Ro- coughing in here. Yeah, Roxanne's right. hocking up a lung while we're talking to Jeremy. So, here. Jeremy, Hi, Jeremy, Jeremy, you think he should keep the money now? Absolutely, it was made for him. He can do what he oh, wants with geez. it. All right, thanks. All right, let's go to Ann in Tampa. Ann, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Ann, should Fester keep the thirteen hundred dollars or donate it to charity? Fester, I love you, dude. But and I came close to donating before they shut it down. No, I'd be pissed. That was mainly for bills to help you with any kind of, you know, your power bills, anything, but nothing like this is not necessary. So I say charity. Okay. Thank you so much. This is a bill, by the way, Ann. Opens up a line, 800-990-1047, 800-990-1047. Should Fester keep the $1,300 GoFundMe money for his car or... Should we donate the thirteen hundred bucks to charity? We are now tied up two to two. Back to the phones. Joe's in Dade City. Hello, Joe. Welcome to the MJ Morning Show. Morning, MJ. Morning, Joe. What should we do with the money? I think Fester should keep it. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, okay, Joe. Okay. Thank it, you, Joe. Three to, Three to two. Thank you, Joe. Let's grab Kevin in Riverview. Kevin, you're on the MJ Morning Show. What should happen to the money? Give it to Fester. Oh. Y'all lost your mind. Come on, man. Need the car. Get off your butt. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, hold on. What do you mean get off, get off my butt? Yeah, you're the one sitting there. That money ain't yours. God. <laughs> I th- thank you, buddy. All right. Uh-oh. Fest just pulled ahead. It's 4 to 2 now. 800-990-1047. Kim is in Lakeland. Kim, MJ Morning Show. What should happen to the money? I think that Fester should keep the money. Son of a... Everybody that donated, donated to Fester. Exactly. That's what people are saying on the text line, that their intention was for it to go to Fester. And you have no control over what happens to money once you send it to a GoFundMe. It just goes to that person for them to use how they kind of see fit. Exactly. They're supposed to use it the way they want. And MJ, if you do donate some money, then I think that should go to charity. Oh, so my, oh, so my, if I match the thirteen hundred, that shouldn't go to festive. That should go to charity. That's what I think. Yeah. All right, all right, Kim, you had really good ideas. Now you have really <laughs> terrible ideas. <laughs> my, Kim, thanks for the call. Jennifer's in Clearwater. Hey, Jennifer, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Good morning. I think he should donate it. There we go. Okay, Ooh. now it's three to five. Five to three. Three to five. Whatever you want to. I'm going with yes. Fester keeps. No, so I'm doing, that's the way I'm doing it. I'm doing the yeses that Fester should keep it, and then no, I'm doing that one second. So it's five to three, yes. Hey, uh, Jen, thanks for the call. All right, (laughs) let me grab Sherry in Palm Harbor. Sherry, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Good morning, everybody. So I think that he should donate the funding. We'll take any money. We have a fund up on Sunday called Hearts and Hope. Hey, Sherry, and, uh, your your phone is breaking up. Where do you think the money should be donated? To Hearts and Hope. We have a fundraising event coming up on Sunday, and we provide necessities for seniors. All right, Sherry. All right, Sherry. So, so, so she, not only did she call in to vote against me, she called in to promote her own charity. Well, Sherry, thank you very much. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Sherry. It's now five to four. Oh, it's getting close. So now it's it's coming back. Let's grab Troy in Land O Lakes, which is, by the way, LOL. Let's go to LOL. Hello, Troy, MJ Morning Show. What should Fester do with the money? Morning, man. MJ. This is Troy. A couple weeks ago, um, Fester called me a nerd because I agreed with you about the gas. So 
So uh, normally uh, I would agree with you, but today I got to side with Fester, oh. uh, being that people donated to him, not to a, a different charity. So I agree with Fester. All right. Troy, thank you, buddy. Thank you. And to just keep true to myself, I still think you're a nerd. But thank it's, you. It's six to four. Fester keeps the money. See, I thought he was going to get back at you and Who knows? It twisted. It, it a, a lot surprise. of people have an axe to grind with me. Elijah's in Orlando. Elijah, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hi. I, I just don't really understand the people that saying that he should donate the money. The GoFundMe was for him. So he should have been, he should have been got the money. He should have gave it to him when he first came back to work. Fester keeps the money. All right, Elijah, I got you down, buddy. Thanks for listening, my friend. Let's grab Pedro in Wesley Chapel. Pedro, MJ Morning Show, you're up. Hey, good morning, guys. Morning. What do you think should happen to the money? Have you ever have you seen that movie with uh, with Matt Damon called Rounders, the, the poker movie? You know what? I have not seen that one. That's good. Are you seen that? You know, I'm trying to think if I did. It was a long, long time ago. At the end, he beats KGB and he says, pay that man. Pay that man his money. <laughs> that's his money, man. Give that to Fester. Oh, boy. I like oh, how you delivered all that. Right. Thank you, Pedro. Appreciate you listening. It is now 8 to 4. Mm. Uh, it's not looking good. Eight votes for Fester keeping the money. Four votes. Give it to charity. 800-990-1047. I, that just opened up a line. Uh, I, I got a lot of stuff to do here, so I still have to do the Michelle story. about. We have another story about money. Michelle, money, me, and a picture that I took with Michelle on Friday night that somebody wants to make a, a little uh, deal about, which I'll explain in a minute. Let's grab Amanda in Lakeland. Amanda, you're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. What do we do with the money? I think Fester deserves it. Oh, son of a... I don't know if I'd use the word deserves it. However, I'll take it. Thank you very much. You more than deserve it because you put up with MJ's BS every day. Uh, <laughs> I love him. I love him. Don't, don't, don't let me fool you. Thanks, Amanda. We Pre love you all. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. All right. Patty. Patty's in Bradenton. Patty, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi, MJ. Why do you still have that money? Exactly. Fester... If you don't give it to Fester, you're stealing his money. That well, I didn't steal it. It's it's in the Fester. cabinet here in the studio. It's not like I absconded with it and bought a TV set or something. Did you give it to Fester yet? I did not. Then that's stealing. I, mean, uh, I don't know you, if I'd it class... Is, it's his money. This I mean, is not looking good. Patty, MJ is in possession of funds that are not his. I, uh, Andrew, I'm just going to clear the calls that we have on hold. Um... Thank you for the call, Patty. Oh, by the way, I got to say hi to Denise. Oh, hi, Denise. I went with Julian to Home Depot in South Tampa. <laughs> right. Um, Roxanne, you're just coughing up a racket what, over what, there. Do you want me to leave? No, yeah. no, I, I don't know what to do. All right, so uh, here's the deal. I went to Home Depot because I had to get the bags of, uh, you know, the crushed concrete, you know, like paver base. So I had to get a whole bunch of paver base. So I went to a Home Depot in South Tampa, uh, you know, south of Gandy, and... Uh, I, the minute I walk into the garden center, Denise is at the cash register, and Denise says, Hey, MJ, I listen to you every morning. Boom. So, Denise at Home Depot, South Tampa, thanks for listening to the MJ. And she's listening right now. She, I guess, gets to work about 8 o'clock every morning. Good. And Hi, Denise. She should be there uh, in the car right now, still listening to us. Hey, Denise, call in and tell MJ what he should do with the money. <laughs> uh, let me finish up these calls. Adam in Winterhaven. Adam, what should happen to the money? Did we lose Adam? Adam, hello. Yeah, the line's still there. Uh, right. I'll put him on hold. Maybe he's... Uh, I'll just yeah. hang up on All right, we got All right, let's grab Jim and Clearwater. Jim, MJ Morning Show. Hello. Hello. Jim, he what should happen to the money? money? Yep. He should keep the money, and hopefully now that it's doubled, he could buy a better car. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. This oh is going to... Listen. How many people are calling in saying Fester should keep the money because... Fester bullied me into a double or nothing deal. You bullied yourself. No, you could have made no big deal because, hey, Fester, here's the cash. And it would have been done. But no. Michelle's in Temple Terrace. Michelle, what should happen to the money? 
Hey, I think that even though Fester wasn't always nice to me when I called in, it should go to Fester oh because he lost out on potentially $25,000 at that boat and RV show, which could have gotten him a brand new Cadillac. Oh, you know I would never um, buy I, a new was car. Was it boats and I RVs? or no, no, no boats, just RVs. Just RVs. But, but that but, would be cool if you sold boats. Yeah, I'd love to sell boats. you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, those boat guys but, kill it. No, I think it should go to Fester. It was raised for him, and he should use it how he deems fit. You thanks. know, uh, thanks for the call. You know what's going on here? The listening audience is ganging up against me, MJ, no, they and they're are. taking money out of my kids' mouths right they're, now. They're doing the right thing, and then you made a terrible bet. Can I dump that whole thing? No. Can, can, I, can I hit the dump button and erase the last 15 minutes? It'll live forever on MJTV. Oh, All right. Uh, Mia's in Clearwater. Mia, what should happen to the money? Um, I donated to Fester, and I believe it should go to Fester. Oh no! All right, so you really now you take the money out of your children's mouth. <laughs> hey, hey, Mia, listen. If you ever need a lift, you call me and I'll pick you up in my Cadillac. That's great. Yeah. Th- thank you, all Mia. Right, all right. Appreciate it. You all know right. the number. All right. I, look at every line. All right, I'll t- I'll take a few more. Every the, <sighs> every line. Every, every line. the minute I hang up on one, I right, scream these. I'll I'll take. All right, John in Newport, Richie. John, you're on the end. I'm trying to. I want to take more calls because I want to come back here. Yeah, I've lost yeah, you're count. Not gonna come back. I, I've lost count. You're What's not this... going to come back on this one. No. <laughs> so, so John puts us at fifteen to four. Yes, is John. What is? What I, am, I am Team Fester, one hundred percent. John, a genius. Uh, John, thank you. Thanks, John. Uh, Catherine is in Jersey City, up in uh, New Jersey. Catherine, what should happen to the money? I think you should donate it to charity, MJ. There we. Oh, I'm coming back, baby. All right, now it's 14 against five. 14 to five is the current vote. I'm coming back, baby. Captain, thanks for the call. All right, Frank in Tampa. I mean, every line. The minute I hang up, the the line's filled. Frank, you're in Tampa. Go ahead. Hey, good morning, guys. Morning, Frank. A little loud, Frank. A little louder for me, buddy. All right, donate it to Fester. Two birds with one stone. Jeez. All right. 15 to 5. I'm getting run over. Thank you, Frank. I'm I'm getting dragged here. Howard in Dade City. And then we're going to wrap this thing up. Howard. uh, We have every line still jammed. I I know. I I know every line. I hate to see you give up on this because you're losing so pathetically. I mean, so miserably. Oh, so you're trying to widen your margin instead of having me come back. I just know people are taking the time to call in. Uh, Howard in Dade City. What should happen to the money? Give Fester his money. Oh, jeez, man. I'm getting hosed here. Yeah, you Thank are. you. Thank you, Howard. Emiliano. An avalanche now. Emiliano in Tampa. Hey, Emiliano. Good morning, MJ. What should happen to the money? Should Fester keep the GoFundMe he- money or donate it to a charity? Absolutely should go to Fester. Oh, my God. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. All right. Thank you. Listen, Andrew can't even screen these calls fast enough. Uh, Penelope is uh, somewhere. Hello, Penelope. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lake Alfred. Excellent. And what should happen to the money? Fester deserves the money. He uh, I'm ge- I'm- on some income, and they gave the money to him. They raised it for him. It goes to him. I am getting absolutely, wow. I'm getting run over over here by um- Fester's new 2010 Cadillac that he wants to buy. Yes. MJ, I feel like we all forgot what a traumatic couple of weeks that was. It's not like people donate the money because Fester didn't feel like going to work that week. I mean, he was like in bad, bad shape. He was. Hospitalized. This is the week I didn't feel like going to work, and here I am. Yeah. Mike in Tarpon Springs, what should happen to the money? Hey, fellas, how you guys doing? Doing well. I'm just just wondering, all these people saying that they want to give the money to charity. If you find a $100 bill on the ground, man, what are you going to do with it? Pick it up and put it in your pocket. You keep it. Give Fester the money. Yeah, eh? I know. I already marked you down for that. All right, thank you. All right, Hector in Tampa. Hey, Hector, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hey, what's going on, Fester? I hope you like Fields, BMW, MJ. Guess what? What? Ha ha, you are giving it to Fester. Hey, TMW Fester BMW. Listen, I love Fields BMW. They're a great establishment. There you go. And you get a discount. <laughs> you must work there, Hector. Hector, do you, do you work? Do you work at Fields BMW? No. Okay. Gotcha. Thanks, Hector. Pick up All an right. application hey, on your way Andrew, by. Andrew, I'll take these last four. That's it. Last four. Nikki and Holiday. Nikki, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi, Nikki. Hi. Hi, 
it's Spencer's money. I don't even know why you still have it. All right. Thank, thank you. you, Nikki. All right. Jeremy in Tampa. Jeremy, last two calls, even though every line is already lit up again. Jeremy, MJ Morning Show, you're up. All right. What we need to do is take Spencer's old car and create a separate donation fund where we take his old car around with sledgehammers and let the listeners beat the tar out of it. Listen, we're planning something spectacular with the old car. I can't we get are. into it now, but we're planning something yeah, spectacular we, for the Lincoln. We do have something really cool for Fester's 2004 dead Lincoln. Yeah, we're, we're not just well, going to scrap it. Let's start a GoFundMe for a donation for that thing. Just let him have his money. All right, thank you. Last call. So everyone calling in, I got to move on. I already went longer than I wanted to. I'm getting trampled. Oh, boy, are I am you? getting absolutely manhandled here. Last call, Juan in Tampa. Juan, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hello, Juan. Hey, hello. You have, I, you have the final say, Juan. I agree with the last caller. Give it to Fester. It was originally intended for him. Oh, and then create another fundraiser using his old car. All right. I said I'd let the listeners decide. Juan, thank you. Roxanne, I have 23 to 5. Yep, I have, yeah. We just took 28 phone 20, calls? 20, 24, yeah, five. Holy, wow. I stopped counting after 12, so, mm -hmm. I mean. All right, I am now handing the $1,300 to Fester. Thank you very much. I am now handing 13 $100 bills, which I'm holding up to MJTV, I'm making the transfer right now to Fester. Right. So, Fester, now you can hold it up to your Thank camera. Thank you. Here's the money now, right here. Fester's holding the money up to his camera. And there All we right. go. So, now there's the other business. I am one of the few people that knows an MJ secret that at all times, MJ carries a check in his wallet for emergencies, which this would constitute. Oh, that's old school. MJ has a old school paper check. Hold on a sec. Let's let's look inside. I've always known let's, you to carry. Let's look inside my wallet. So I have my key card to get into the building. Right. I have some cash. I have a hundred fifty. I have a hundred. I've got two. I've got fifty dollar bills. I got fifty a hundred. I have one fifty. Uh, I've got two hundred dollars in cash. Okay. But. Dude, you're out of luck. I do not have a check in this wallet. The other hmm. side, my Costco card. I've got my Dade City Gun Club membership card. Of course. I've got my voter registration card. I have... You carry your voter oh, registration card on, on you? I have an old Purple 2 Elevators parking ticket from Tampa International uh, Economy Parking. I can throw that yeah, away. How old mm -hmm. is that? I have my insurance card. I have my concealed. But Fester, there is, there is nothing in here. Wow. There, there is no check. Oh, and, oh another, uh, looks like another uh, 30 bucks? $40. 40 bucks? Yep. The, I, right. I, I, Fester, you're wrong. I do I do not have one of my little standby checks in my wallet. So then, the question is, what is your plan to uh, Make this right. pay your debt? <laughs> I mean... Hit an ATM. Oh, yeah. I mean, hold on now. I mean, you are uh, Mr. You're on. I mean... Fine, I'll write to you. Come to the house after the show, I'll... Write your check for thirteen hundred bucks. How did I get roped into this? Why did I think? Why did I think our audience would want to donate the money to charity Listen, and not to Fester? You roped me into it. You, this could have been done discreetly off the air. <sighs> hey Fester, here's the envelope. I would like, hey, man, thanks a lot. I'll give you a ride in my Cadillac. But no, you had to like try to out me, and you're like, oh, Fester's being a greedy person. You no, know, none of it's going to work out like that.